Tomorrow, the National Health Service will be 70 years old. There'll be events to celebrate its birthday all over the UK. One and a half million people now work for the NHS, making up the biggest care team in the world. Adina Campbell has been to meet one family who've been part of the NHS for four generations since the 1960s. My name is Elaine Unavu and I am a retired nurse. My name is Ngozi Ediosage and I'm a consultant neonatologist. My name is Indidi Ediosage and I'm a third year medical student at King's College London. <laughs> For this family in Manchester, working for the NHS has provided lifelong careers. Well, I was brought up around hospitals because my mum was a nurse and my grandmother was a cook and um, my grandmother looked after us a lot and we'd come to the hospital and wait for her to come while she was finishing work for her to come and pick us up. I was the first nurse in my family and I think I'm still the only one because my family just thought nursing is a bit heavy and, it's, and they tried to dissuade me, but I love the uniform. And that's why I went into nursing. And now your daughter is also following in your footsteps. <laughs> What's it like to see your daughter flourish? Well, I must say that when she first said she was going to do medicine, I tried to dissuade her actually. But in the end, I was really pleased because that had been such a good role model for her. Um, because I thought there's so many other things you can do and when you're in a profession you always think the grass is green on the other side but I actually really enjoy my job and she said to me mum but you love your job and I, and I do love my job so I was I'm quite pleased that she decided to become a doctor in the end. And it's hard work the long hours the shifts that hasn't put you off? No <laughs> I don't know what else I'd be doing to be honest like it's quite yeah it's sort of I just got used to it and all my friends are in the hospital with me my mum has recently become associate medical director I think you're one of the first um, black women in this position as well in the hospital. Um, so I think that's a really, really proud achievement. Um, I'm really proud of her and we all are. No pressure then, your children <laughs> later down the line, are they going to continue this legacy? I think, I think we'll get tired of it by then. They're probably going to something else. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> my experience, I suppose, is very different to my grandmother's and very different to my mother's and probably will be different to my daughter's. But the fact that we've all been able to contribute and we all enjoy what we do, uh, I think is a great testament to the NHS that we work in and we all love. Adina Campbell's report. Roger.